Good morning and welcome back to the channel guys. Um, today we're just going to be doing an update on the uh, 2016 Ford Ranger Wild Track. In particular we're just going to be updating my Sync 3 on my radio. So let's uh, get into it shall we? Okay, so if any of you haven't updated your radio in your Ford Ranger or any Ford model vehicle, um, you can either do it through Wi-Fi or you can go online with your laptop and put it onto a USB. I've tried multiple times to put it um, through the Wi-Fi and it's just failed to update. I thought it, I didn't need any more updates, but I was on six, sync three version 2.0 and i believe it's at 3.4 at the moment so i am way off so yes this time i have gone uh, got the laptop out and i've put it on a usb and it is currently in my usb slot in my ford ranger at the moment updating i just want to let everybody know i have had a bit of an issue trying to do it though because i've got an apple laptop and it just didn't recognize the software when I plugged the USB into the Ford Ranger. So luckily enough, my sister had a Windows laptop and I went online and imported the files through Windows and it is, it is working fine. So if you don't know what you need to do, especially in uh, Australia, because this is where I am, just go on to ford.com.au Log in, you need to register your vehicle, so you need to put in your VIN, create an account, um, and then it'll tell you what you're up to um, with your radio regarding um, what version you've got. Um, just go down to my profile, and then in my profile, it'll say, um, you'll see Sync 3, and it'll say version, which mine was 2.0 just uh, next to that it says update so just go into that you have to request the download file Ford then send it to you and then you're able to download it onto your computer um, which then you can just transfer over to your USB stick it does take quite a while probably about 20 to 30 minutes depending on how quick your computer is obviously but yeah nice and simple once you've done that so there's my USB she is in at the bottom of the USB slot and it's on my radio at the moment and it's saying updating system software. So like I said before, I had Sync 3 version 2.0. So I am pretty well off when it comes to updating this radio. So I'm excited to see what the differences will be once this has updated. Now, I don't know what this is gonna actually update to. It didn't say to me what version it was gonna give me. So this might only go up to like 2.4 or even 3.0 then I might have to go back online to get the most latest update from there because once you've done this Ford like you to go back online with your USB and update them to tell them that you've updated to whatever version this is so make sure you do that because then they can put the uh, other version on if you're still not up to date so let's just see what happens and how long this takes. It, from other videos that I've seen on YouTube, it can take a while. Uh, it can take quite a while, so uh, be patient. So I just thought I should point out that the car actually needs to be on and running while you're doing this update. So I just got into my vehicle, started the car, and then slotted in the USB slot down the bottom there. Um, some people put the USB in first and then start their car. I don't think it really matters. Just as long as the car is running um, for the update to uh, be successful. Okay, so I'll just prove to you what version I'm actually on. And if you want to see what version you've got, just go to Settings, General, scroll down to About Sync. And then you have it, Sync 3, software version 2.0. I just thought I'd just add in as well, the file that I was downloading was about 2.6 gigabytes. And the USB 
stick that I'm using at the moment is an eight gigabyte stick. So that was plenty for me. And just remember again, guys, that um, if it doesn't work on a Apple laptop or computer, then just um, try your luck with a Windows because that's what's happened to me and it's worked fine with the Windows, but just not with the Apple. Okay, so it's just popped up now that it says installation complete. You may now remove your USB device. Updates will take effect the next time you start your vehicle. So let's close that. Alrighty, so I've just now come out of the vehicle. Let's lock her up. Let's just leave her for a few minutes and see what happens. Alrighty, so it's been a couple of minutes now. Let's um, go inside and see what happens. Let's start her up, shall we? version I've got. That hasn't given me a version at all. So it says Sync 3 version. Oh, there we go. So Sync 3 software version 3.0. So I don't think that is the latest version. So like I said earlier, guys, what I'm gonna have to do now is go back onto my computer, update Ford to let them know that I am currently at 3.0, and then they should put a later version on for me. Now don't quote me on what version that might be it could be 3.2 could be 3.4 i am of the belief that it is up to 3.4 but i'm not sure if ford australia especially have put that out on their uh, website yet so there you go guys there's another video done please give us a thumbs up if you like that video um, subscribe to the channel if you like the content and don't forget to press that bell notification until the next one guys take it easy see you then